Oops. Today I'm going to be reviewing the e.l.f. Makeup Lock and Seal. I have mentioned this product a lot, well like in my haul, I think my May favorite and this past video my top 10 products for under $10 and I'm finally getting around to reviewing it. Um, this is what the box looks like, it comes in a little plastic thingy which I can't seem to find. And this product is $3. And if you live in Texas, you can totally find it at your local HEB. But if not, totally check online. And anyways, what comes with the whole makeup lock and seal, of course, is this bottle. Which contains the actual product. And it is 15 milliliters or 0.53 fluid ounces comes with this, a blending, mini blending brush, and this little cap to pour the look the product into. I know it looks messy. And I'm gonna be doing it. So on the back it says I use this the intensity of your makeup colors and lock it in lock it in intensely. Coat your eyeliner, shadows, lipstick, blush, brow color, and more for still smudge proof wear. The quick dry and easy to use formula keeps your makeup in place for hours. This product is absolutely amazing. I do love it and I can totally vouch for keeping it in place for hours. Um, I don't know if you remember but in my main favorites I told y'all that I like to use it with a black loose shadow to create eyeliner and it totally keeps it in place for hours doesn't go anywhere totally budge proof Remember? and I had wore it out and I was out practically way more than 12 hours and my makeup stayed in place and it was awesome it was totally cool and it's only like I said three dollars and all you need is a little bit and I'm going to show you how it can intensify your makeup Okay, so the palette I'm going to be using to demonstrate is this Santi palette. And the reason I'm using this one is because I can use it with wet eyeshadows and it won't mess up the product. And I'm going to show you... Let's go with this pink one. I'm going to show you the pink with, with dollar base, with the white eyeliner, and with the makeup block and seal so you can see. Okay, so how are we gonna do? So right here, if you can see, is without a base or anything. And now with a white liner. And right here is with a white eyeliner underneath. Sorry if I was there for a long time, just making sure my cameras were picked it up. And actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it directly onto the brush. So basically, you get it wet and then you apply the product and like we said um if you know you can use certain eyeshadows wet I would recommend doing that if you're not entirely sure don't do it because I heard that once they're wet that they don't the eyeshadow is totally of no of no use anymore so like I said be sure you can use it wet or even go over the eyeshadows on your base ready with the thing which I will do right now and then this is with the product see how totally bright it is with compared to just with a white eyeliner underneath so there you go super bright compared to just without um, with a white eyeliner underneath and it's only three dollars I try to rub it okay so the one with all the base Rub at it, totally disappears, right? Next one with the white base. Gonna rub at it, totally okay, it doesn't disappear as much, but yeah. 
the one with the makeup block and seal. Bam. Totally budge proof and still vibrant. Totally awesome. And now I'm going to show you guys with it on my lid. Wipe off my brush real quick. Okay, so you. As you can see, doesn't mess up the makeup and they look pretty darn vibrant. I mean, just look at that. Let me zoom in on this awesomeness happening. See, so you can totally use it to either go over your eyeshadows or help intensify your eyeshadows for that matter if you want the more intense and can use them wet or you can even create your own gel liner like I did using a mineral eyeshadow or anything and it is totally amazing guys I your makeup just isn't as intense as you like it I know me personally I do love very intense bold in your face colors so I think this is perfect and all you need is one drop it's all you need and it's enough to make an eyeliner for both eyes it does dry really fast which is a super mega plus besides buying your eyeshadows and lasting forever as you can see I can get this off no, it's gonna transfer if it's still wet so you gotta give it like a second or two to dry and you're good to go and I really do absolutely adore this product it was the best three dollars ever spent and I had just picked it up because I was curious about it and I know I had questions asked about this product like what it is what does it do so I thought I'd make this review video to show you guys and I hope y'all find this really helpful and if you have any more questions about it, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. And I still have a pretty good amount to go. And I've had this since, I want to say since around March or April. So that's pretty good. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a super duper fantastic day.